Hello, gents. Do you ever see people perform a stunt on the internet and you're like, wow, that looked super easy and super cool. I can do that. Well, I just saw a little trick on the internet that somebody did and I thought that looks pretty easy. That looks really cool. Maybe even too easy and too cool. I've never tried it yet, but I'm going to try to recreate what it was that I watched this dude do. What he did is he hung a can of paint, poked a hole in the bottom and I assume in the top as well to allow for air to flow. And he swung it on a string over a paper and it made this beautiful pattern. It was an awesome work of art. I watched that video and I thought, I'm going to try that. So let's find out together if it was really as easy and as simple as this dude made it look and let's see how it turns out. Now I think it'll work. All right, second attempt. So on these first two tries, it just didn't come out very well. I think the hole was blocked a little. I cleaned it out a little bit and then it started working. And then once it started going before long it became pretty mesmerizing to watch. I'm just going to go ahead and speed it up for you here now. Once it started running over the same area over and over again, that paint just kind of piled up and started running. So I knew I had to stop it, but I didn't really have a good way to stop it without, you know, ruining it. So there is the first attempt and it wasn't too bad for the first attempt, but we did learn a couple of things here. The paint really stacked up in a couple of areas and it started dripping towards the end a little bit. I really should have stopped it sooner, but when I did stop it, I caused it to throw that little, that little run right there, you see? So what I've done did is I invented this little tool so that on my next attempt, when it's time to stop it, I can just reach under grab the paint can and pull it back without it dripping everywhere, hopefully. So let's try take two. I got a fresh slate out there. Just drill the hole in the top of the can and drill a hole in the bottom and we'll send it off. This one also struggled to get started, so I reamed that hole out at the bottom, and once I did that and tried it a little bit more, it eventually started running really well. In fact, I liked how this one went a lot better than the first one even.
little invention for catching it worked. Okay, now for another round, I let the white paint dry for a while and I've got this little bucket of pink paint that I'm gonna overlay over it because I think that's gonna look pretty cool and I could probably put it up on like my girl's wall or something. Now the mistake I made on the pink can is I wasn't thinking and when I drilled the hole in the bottom, I didn't drill it directly in the center. It was kind of offset a little bit. And the problem with that it became that as the can is spinning around on the string, it's also spinning on its axis. So the, that causes the line spacing to be uneven. Okay, so my conclusion is this is as easy as it appears to be in the video. You can do this, totally should do it, totally should try it. Um, when you do, I would plan to do it a couple of times before you get it down right. Don't expect it to work perfectly the first time you do it, unless you follow all the tips I gave you, in which case, maybe you will. So, there you go. Have fun. Oh, and one last tip. Move your drill before you do it or you're going to get pink highlights on it.